morning, everybody. It is way too early to be sat on a bike, but hey ho, it's quarter past four in the morning. Okay, so despite saying how early it is, I am actually running late. <laughs> I, I think it should be illegal to be running late at this time in the morning, but, um, you know, that's how the cookie crumbles. I've overslept. Um, we're at Shelford today, but we have got two horses at Shelford today, and, um... I can't take both at the same time because they play up when, like, all of them, if one leaves them, the other plays up and it's a bit of a nightmare. So I'm taking them one at a time. So I'd usually take two on two separate days, but the organisers of Shelford were short of volunteers for um, tomorrow. So they got in touch with mum and asked if she would fence judge tomorrow, in which means we need to compete two pennies today. So I'm just en route to fetch Titan. We're competing Donut and Titan. Good morning, Nutty. How are you? Um, Nutty is on first, but I need Titan ready for the quick change. We've got lovely Amy and Gracie coming to fetch him in and tog him up. Um, ready for us to grab him. But obviously, he needs to be looking all smart. You just fall over. Maybe. Funny boy. Um, yeah, he needs to be clean and smart. So, I'm going to give him a bath and plus him. If I get time, I'll prep his stud holes. If not, I taught Gracie how to do stud holes the other week. So, she might get a baptism of fire and get to get to do these wait um, yeah so i'm gonna get what i can done with him we need to leave here at 5 5 30 with donut and i'll plat donut up when we get there um so <laughs> it's uh busy and last night i was brainstorming all the things i could do could i i could leave titan in with maggie but then maggie would have to be turned out and he might lay down in his bed and get poo stain or i could leave Titan in by himself but then he'd get stressed but he probably wouldn't lay down I could <laughs> turn him back out but then what if he rolls but hey ho I've come to the conclusion I'm gonna bath him plat him give him his feed hope that he's dry by the time I turn him out lovely Liz has given me a one of those waterproof fly sheets you know with the waterproof backs on them so I'm gonna put him in that so I hope he stays clean and then I'm going to turn him out in a paddock by himself and pray that he doesn't go and get really muddy. Um, because Donut is in the dressage arena at 8am this morning. And first one crowned the cross country course. He's doing the B100. And um, then I think we've got like an hour to get back with Titan. So it's all pretty bish bash bosh. This is Titan's first event of the season. Come on, beautiful. Good boy. Um, so I'm anticipating him getting quite excited in the coming minutes. Come on, we need to turn around, darling. Good boy. Um, so with that in mind, I'm gonna get going. We walked the courses yesterday. I'll let you have a look at those while I run around like a headless chicken. Ooh, 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 ooh. And while I actually focus on getting him tied up in the wash box because who knows what he can take the mig. Naughty boy. Right, go see that and you'll see me hopefully a little bit less stressed in a second.
go please stay clean please 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 <laughs> stumbling out of bed and i still got you in my head from all those pretty words you said it's like i'm wasted every time i see your face i'm losing track of time and space i don't know where i am it's like i'm wasted and i won't waste it and i promise that i will stand by you forever I can't get you out of my mind Plotting the donut seed And I won't waste it I don't want to slow this down My heart is screaming out your name I'm wasted on you Here we are right underneath the stars So let's get a little reckless You make me breathless And I won't waste it Okay, first one is up And it's Donutty in the arena Doing the B108 dressage test Now let me give you a little bit of context I went to run through my test with Donutty the night before this and Donutty was a idiot. He was a real, real big pain in the bum and he did not want to behave. He did not want to do any canter trot can transitions and it got to the stage where um, he ran off with me about three times and I just gave up. So to see him working this nicely and to be able to get my legs on him and get transitions out of him, I was thrilled. Um, but at the same time, I hadn't managed to practice some of my moves because um, we were practicing other jazzy moves. So we got sevens on our way in and then with this move with the... Um, Half circle left, we got a 6.5 with quarters, second half a little large, and then a sec seven for our following 15 meter circle. Our uh, canter transition got a six because he came against the hand and the judge put head high to canter, which I'd agree. I would normally ask for more there, but I was trying to do damage management. I didn't want any tantrums in this test. 
this circle at E, he got a 7 with could be more over back. I very much agree. And the trot transition, he got a 7. Much nicer than the trot transitions I was managing to get the previous night where it was um argumentative to say the least. So the medium walk transition at C, we got the 7 with fairly fluent. And for the free walk on a long rain, we got another 7 with fair stretch in free. Then when we came around to this next move, it was a halt for 4 seconds at A. And we got a 6.5 and you will see in just a second why we got a 6.5. Not a bad halt, not square. But look at that. So chilled out. We've got a rested leg. Little pain in the bum. But I did manage to make it a good four seconds. So the judge commented on that and gave us a 6.5. Then we went into our working trot. We got a seven for this. And now I knew I was in danger zone. He's always a little bit more quirky after he's had a walk. And you can see him wanting to do something. But I managed to keep on top of him. I was very proud of myself there. And we got sevens with um, prompt transition to canter, which I was very pleased with. He can have a tendency to run into the canter. So that was an improvement for sure. Then we got a seven for our circle here. Um, I think there's lots of stuff we can do with his way of going, but it's a case of time and keeping going. And then onto the center line, we got a 6.5 with overshot center line. Slap on the wrist for me. And for our halt at the end, we got 6.5. Quite pleased with that. Ending up on 32. Jeline Llewellyn Smith with zero west. So with that dressage score, we ended up fourth after dressage, which put us in a really good spot. On walking the show jumping the previous day, I knew it was full up and tough and it was going to be a big challenge for us because it's a very twisty, turny course. So it was going to be a good one to see how we were getting on. As you can see, Donut was super feisty and keen to get on with the job and he was loving life. He gives you such a good feel while jumping. Obviously, he's still green and wiggly and you can see how twisty, turny this was. So we then went on to a dog leg, which you're going to see from another angle now. And it's um, jumping up and down hill a bit at Shelford. So a good challenge for him. And such a long way he's come since he did his very first event in August last year, where we were trotting and popping around the 80. And now he is cantering and jumping so classly through the one meter course where he has two doubles and I was so proud of him. He was giving me an amazing feel of yet another dog leg to a beefy oxer and one stride double we didn't make up too much distance like we did at last Aston last time and he was just reacting really really brilliantly and so brave and bold so here's where we had a little bit of trouble we just made up a bit too much distance I'd say I maybe pressed the go button a bit too much at that fence seven and then we sort of messed up that line and we had both these fences down but then we managed to get it back together to finish off with a two strided double which was short and again he left them up I was really honestly so thrilled with him he's starting to give me the most amazing feel i really don't think i need to voice over his cross country because all i have got to say about it is wow he was so bold so clever so keen and i was over the moon with this boy his third b100 he's been jumping less than a year and yet he's going like this. Wow, good boy. Slow this down, my heart is screaming out your name, I'm wasted on you. Here we are, right underneath the stars, so let's get a little reckless. You make me breathless, 
And I won't waste this And I promise that I
half dressed, but I feel like we need to do an announcement. Where did I come? Second. Yay! Green clock's on! Yay! So yes, prize giving is at half twelve, but um, fortunately or unfortunately, um, my dressage is at 12.44 with Titan, so um, I'm getting ready. Gru is going to go collect our rosette for us and stand on the podium. And, um, yeah, let's get going with Tighty Baby. Gracie is officially um, the best prize giving attender ever. And Gracie, if you're listening, I hope that you are with us to attend every prize giving because you did such a wonderful job. Thank you very much. Right then, Beastie's dressage test next. And boy, the boy was looking quite smart. Look at him go. So he felt a little bit lazy to me. Um, I know that I can get him a little bit more zhuzhed up. And I think that will happen as the season goes on. But it was good to get the first one under his belt. He also had some ears on. I don't know if you noticed Donut in his ears. Both of them are liable to get excited in their dressage. So I find these sort of having the ears on just helps them concentrate a little bit. Okay. Good centre line, Beastie. Look at him go. So he got a seven. The judge was a bit less talkative on our test sheet here. So I will intervene with a few of my opinions here so I thought the corner was okay but I could have used more space not that you can see from here um but I knew myself having ridden it we got a seven for a change of rain and then we are on the b95 dressage test so we're on to two half circles now to change the rain again good circle shape from me nice straight line in the middle while we change the diagonal and the bend I would say he could bend a little bit more to the left um if I wanted to nitpick we got sevens for both of our half circles and we got a seven for our transition to canter he could have been maybe a little bit stiller in his contact um and I would say that first half of my circle there in the canter was a little bit large um, we got a seven with a comment of twisting jaw a little, which you'd have to be closer to be able to see. Then in the corner, we had to do a canter trot transition. Titan's useless at these. He much prefers to go canter walk. So we got a six, which, um, the judge said needs to be better balance. Next two half circles, he did pre pretty well. Um, again, I think he could be a little bit more off the leg. So I'll work on that, but we still got sevens for our half circles canter transition to the right we got a seven again he could be stiller in his contact I think we could easily be getting him up half a mark for everything with a little bit of work um which would be very nice for this circle we got a seven and a half judge was very happy with us here and then we did another canter trot transition and again he was like can I just walk? And I was like, no, you cannot. So he got a 6.5 with um, dropping off the leg into trot. <laughs> you and me both agree, Georgie. Um, seven for our medium walk transition. And then we had to do a half 20 meter circle right through walk on a long rain. We got a seven with could take nose down more for an eight which is a very nice comment given that when we first started with Titan, he had a lateral walk, which means that he he was basically so lazy in the walk that he wasn't tracking up properly. So the fact that we are able to get sevens, let alone mention an eight when it comes to his walk is fantastic. We then needed to turn down the centre line and the judge put us a six with a bit tense and that's where he went a little bit lateral um and then we did our trot transition which was very straight and we got a 6.5 for our halt resulting in a 31.3 and that left us in second place after the dressage right then guys time to be vulnerable with you i am still so cross at myself for this i feel like a complete idiot i cannot remember the last time that i had a stop at the first fence and i also know that it was completely and utterly my fault i rode like a complete lemon and gave him a horrific line 
Now, not to give myself excuses, but to give you a little bit of context, somebody nearly crashed into us into the warm-up. We crashed through a fence. So I think we were both fairly rattled. And actually, I've got three wonderful horses that I am so grateful and over the moon for. But they are all like chalk and cheese. I don't think you could get more different between each other. So to get off of Donut and onto Titan, it is quite a challenge. And bear in mind, Titan and I haven't done a dressage test or a show jumping round or a cross country round in 10 whole months. So it was one of those things where it's just a case of live and learn put it behind you and then actually he was jumping so beautifully so I would love the chance to try and get Titan to badminton grassroots and I feel like this is our last our last thwack at it he is 17 now and um I don't want to be pushing him until he's older etc so um we need to try and get our double clears in obviously we didn't get our double clear in at Shelford but the way he was jumping gives me hope because he was being really careful now I mucked up and got him a little bit deep here and didn't keep the power rolling so we had one down but other than that I was thrilled with him I was kicking myself a little bit for being such an idiot I felt really silly but you know it happens to all of us and we're only human and we make mistakes sometimes um but the fact that he was really springing off the ground so well makes me think you know what we might well get those double clears in at some point fingers crossed good boy tighty baby good first jumping back so we went off for a quick change and then we were straight round to the cross country time to put that to bed about the first night to show jumping there was much more good than there was bad round that round so we will put it down to experience let's go do the fun stuff live your life within the moment moment and don't go wait until the morning Oh, nice to Our bodies move to the groove and the light the flickers. We get lost in the crowd, it's getting thicker. We get away, get away from the drinks and chatter. Haven't said a word, but it doesn't matter. Feel the air can thin Standing in a blurry dream. No one else can see us. Live your life within the moment. Go, And don't go wait until the morning.
is us all done. We've finished, haven't we? And I honestly couldn't be happier with my both of the boys. They've been so, so super. Um, I mean, to think last year, I didn't know, well, even, even January this year, I didn't know if Titan was going to come back this year. I didn't know if he'd cope with when the hot weather came in. And yet it's been really warm today and he has flown round. Hello. Come on. Let's go home. Uh, we are all done now. I've just um, brought the lorry back. I've dropped mum off at home and I'm about to offload my darling beastie. I couldn't be prouder of him. What a little superstar. We had, we were second after dressage with a 31 point something. Um, I knew there was loads of room for improvement, so really pleased with that. Could easily be sub 30 in the future once we're back in the swing of things. Then show jumping, I had a brain malfunction. <laughs> you know, can't be perfect all the time. Um, so yeah, one of those things with the show jumping, but we got our act together and got sorted. It's very hard switching and changing between um, three very different horses um they they ride completely differently have completely different feels and it makes me a better rider in the long run it just sometimes means i i have slight malfunctions and it's been a very very long time since i've competed tight and it's been 10 months since we went out and did anything so um yeah it's good to get the mileage back and then we stormed around the cross country clear easily inside the time um and had a, such a thrill. So I cannot wait till his next event. I'm so, so happy with him. Donutty surprised, surprised us all coming second. Absolutely amazing. And I just feel so, so fortunate to now be at the stage where I've got all three of the horses going so well and I'm managing to compete them. And don't get me wrong, it's taking a hell of a lot of work. Mum's helping me out. We're working together to make sure that we've got um, the funds and we get the entries in and this, that and the other. But by the same token, I'm so, so grateful for what we're able to do these days. And it's not long ago that I would have been um, struggling to get around the show jumping or cross country and not on a very good dressage score. So the fact that we're competitive, Titan finished up in 10th anyway. So we've had two top 10s. I've had a massive learning experience and just over the moon. Anyway, thank you so much, guys. I will see you next time and I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Bye.